Hello everyone, this is GIS Map for Liz, and today I'm going to show you how to retake a portion of a base map from ArcGIS Online and export it to our local machine for offline use. So we'll be using the Tile Package Creator, which is an application created by Esri Labs. And then we'll attach this blog to the description of the video below for you to take a look at the parts of the application and for more information about the application. So we can go ahead and go to ArcGIS Online and search up Tile Package Creator. We can use this on a Mac, Windows, or Ubuntu Linux system. Now I have a Windows operating system, so I'm just going to select Windows. And then I'm going to download it. Please note that with the Tile Package Creator, you need to have a paid subscription. So if you do have like a public subscription, you won't be able to use this application. Okay. Once it's downloaded, you should see this. You'll have the option to upload a local tile package, an option to create a new tile package, an option to browse your organization's tile packages. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new tile package. Okay, and these are all the different base maps that you can take a portion off and download onto your machine. Of course, you can add more through here by selecting a tile service using the URL and inputting it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and select world imagery for export. Now this is really easy to use. All you have to do is go to your study area and I like this portion here and then you can use the draw rectangle, draw polygon, or draw path options. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rectangle to specify my study area. So click and release. Okay, so that means everything within here will get exported. Now we do have a limit of tile size. The, the limit is 100,000 tiles, so as long as we don't pass that, we are good to go. So right now we're at a tile size of 5, just know that the bigger the polygon or the rectangle, the more the tile size. Okay, now let's increase our zoom levels. Now what the zoom levels will do is that you'll have a greater extent, more extents in which you can see the base map. So if I zoom in, I can still see it. If I zoom in, I can still see it. And that's what the zoom levels will do. So the more zoom levels there are, generally, the more and closer you'll be able to see that image that you have exported. Okay, so right now we have 49,572 tiles. Let's go up a little bit more and see how far we can go. Okay, so now it's over 100,000 tiles. So I'm just going to decrease it. Yep, we'll stick with this many tiles. And 12 zoom levels with this area specified. Next, just save to locally. Save the tile package locally. And you can select this blue button, save to, to select the area that you want to save to. Otherwise, it's just going to save it to a default area. OK, and then we'll go ahead and create the tile package. So it's going to go ahead and estimate the tile package size. We do have an initial um, estimation already from what we saw earlier with 49,000 tiles, so it should be around that much. Okay, yep, 49,000 something tiles. It's going to go ahead and export these tiles, and then it will go ahead and download it. Once it's finished, it will have a green area here where it has exported successfully. And next I'm going to show you an example within ArcGIS Pro of a tile package that I had downloaded earlier. Okay, here's ArcGIS Pro, and here's the area that I had exported earlier. All I did was add data, and I had add data to the map, and I went to the location that I had saved it to within my file explorer, and added it to the map. So we can zoom in 
and now we can't see it anymore here just know that that's expected because of the zoom levels we are at then you can just come out a little bit and then we can see it again right so the more zoom levels there are the closer you'll be able to get okay and that's how you use the tile package creator to get a portion of a base map and export it to your local machine so that you can use it offline. Thank you everyone for joining me today and have a wonderful day. Bye bye, see you next time.